good morning friends in the last video sir we started a new batch on core java 7 am batch okay so yesterday just i have given introduction so regarding myself this is uh, k prakash babu having 13 years of experience in various technologies and coming to the details of our batch so the course of this batch is nothing but core java complete core java we are going to take the duration is nothing but 45 to 50 hours two months duration probably you are going to get march april in this two months we can able to finish the course and the timings are nothing but 7 am early morning at fresh mind you can able to listen java so that definitely i will give uh, i will give the word uh, so that you are going to get some knowledge from this okay so 7 am from monday to friday we are going to get these sessions and demos around 4 to 5 demos will be there i think this is the second class so fees for this course is 5000 generally it is 7000 on offer they kept as 5000 okay next contact number so to whom we have to contact for registration okay one minute i will give another number that will be correct yes so what is that number is nothing but um, so 9246 212143 you can contact to this number for registration purpose you can contact to this number for registration purpose okay then what benefits you are going to get once if you join into this particular batch i told already running notes will be given on the daily basis even in the last video i display i displayed some sample running notes also then recorded videos will be given with seven months access next and after that multiple choice questions will be there and uh, we are going to practice the programs on hacker rank link you can able to get minimum 100 programs then after finishing of this session we can able to discuss core java interview questions also and the syllabus format also i explained very clearly in the last video so first introduction to programming fundamentals of java arrays concept strings concept oops principles predefined apis regular expressions multi uh, exception handling so multi threading collection framework files and databases jdbc java database connectivity with one small mini project so functional programming and some new concepts so even that demo is available in this video sir if you want you can able to refer this video also okay the demo is available in this video and uh, whatever knowledge we have covered in the last video i i want to have a small kind of a quiz for 5 minutes and then we will continue are you ready for quiz please confirm are you ready for quiz please confirm yes so i will display the multiple choice questions on the screen so please uh, understand the problem statement and uh, try to give the answers in chat window okay and try to give the answers in chat window okay so now just uh, of course it is not that much high level uh, questions just a small analysis whatever syllabus we covered in the last video so based on that syllabus okay yes so please please answer to these questions so what is the first question that we have here is i hope everyone is going to give the correct answers so observe carefully observe carefully so which concept is required to implement data structures in java programming yes please among these five options which is the correct option sir yes if you want you can unmute and you can speak you can give the answers also no issues yes what is the correct answers please confirm only except bharat what about remaining people very good very good okay 
so the correct answer is nothing but uh, sir do you know the concept which is required to implement data structures in java is nothing but collections sir okay somewhere i have covered collection framework data structures in java okay so what is the correct answer for this question sir see just for your awareness purpose i am giving okay next so which concept is used to communicate with the database yes please tell me among these four options which option is a correct which is which concept is used to communicate with the database very good excellent so option d so we have to use jdbc java database connectivity to communicate with the database so next and after that so handling runtime errors is called as yes tell me what is the option so handling the errors at runtime if you are getting any error at runtime handling of this runtime errors so is called as which concept sir any idea is it multi threading or file handling or array handling or string handling or exception handling excellent majority of the people are giving the correct answer the answer is nothing but e exception handling next and after that next question so in java the string concepts are implemented by using which one yes in java the string concepts are implemented by using which concepts yes please tell me very good so the answer is nothing but e so i told in the syllabus so java provides support for string string buffer string builder string tokenizer all these concepts are there in java so next maybe the last question so if we want to validate a mobile number sir i want to check whether the mobile number is a correct mobile number or not so for this purpose which concept we have to use yes please confirm regular expressions or arrays or strings or exception handling or files which one is recommended please confirm yes very good so the correct answer is nothing but option a so we can use regular expressions for validating purpose sir don't get sir is giving at the very first day itself multiple choice questions no so because you can able to see whatever concepts i explained on the syllabus same thing i provided so string have you observed sir then regular expression have you observed exception handling so data structures have you observed database connectivity like this just simplicity that's all beyond that nothing is there so this is nothing but whatever concepts we covered in the last video now in today's session i want to give the first chapter details okay i mean first part so part 1 total how many parts are there in our cinema total 13 parts are there okay so like bahubali 1 and 2 pushpa 1 and 2 so we have total 13 java parts are there every part is very very important so first we are going to talk about part 1 what is the title of the part sir introduction to programming introduction to programming so here we are going to discuss a few important aspects regarding introduction part okay so let us let us discuss about this introduction part so as a part of this introduction to programming sir i need to cover some few concepts what is the first concept is nothing but boss some people are going to use the word called language so what is mean by language so second thing is nothing but what is mean by program so what is mean by programming language majority of the people are going to use the word called programming language programming language so what is mean by programming language how many types of programming languages are available types of programming languages then so what is mean by translator what is mean by translator then so compiler 
compiler versus interpreter compiler versus interpreter next and after that we are going to see so example program example program to demonstrate compiler versus interpreter a small chota chapters are this one a small chapter is nothing but this one let me talk one by one so is the agenda is clear for you people please confirm if everything is clear i will start the session sir please confirm any doubts up to this please confirm any doubts up to this yeah you can use you can use mic also to speak sir no problem you can unmute and you can speak if you want to communicate with me okay no problem already i have given the permission also then sir first of all what is mean by language what is mean by language sir i am taking a class for you people so whatever statements i am giving you can able to understand whatever statements i am giving you can able to understand that means what sir both are having some kind of medium using that medium we can able to communicate with each other okay we can able to communicate with each other so here i am taking the class here i am taking the class so taking the class in which language sir english even i know very well telugu tamil all these things so this english will act as a language for establishing a communication between so you people and myself so language means what sir we can able to say language is nothing but communication okay communication medium we can able to see language is nothing but a communication medium by using this communication medium we can communicate with other person or with mission like that so how many types of communications are there sir totally there are three types of communications are there but anyway in this language i will explain only two types person to person communication if a person wants to communicate with another person sir they can use telugu to communicate or tamil to communicate or hindi to communicate or english to communicate or arabic arabic to communicate okay so etc any language we can use but there should be a proper communication so you people are at the, you people are attending this core java demo sessions the person who attended yesterday they can attend today's session also and make sure that they are going to attend so tomorrow's session day after tomorrow's session like that four to five demo session then he is going to pay the fee and he will register for the class so once if he follows the complete core java sessions by myself so that means what what is his expectations we are satisfying the requirement so if the communication is properly happening then nothing is required so for these two things are required one is acquiring the java knowledge and how the faculty is telling these two matters a lot so for this we can use one language for communication purpose okay well and good and here you can able to see mission to mission communication is also there sir yesterday i connected my hard disk to my laptop okay and then i copied some information from my uh, laptop to hard disk sir after that i connected to my mobile and i copied some information that means what my mobile is communicating with laptop mobile is a mission electronic device laptop is also a mission electronic device these two electronic devices are communicated with each other by using sir zeros and ones zeros and ones which is also called as binary language so using this binary language so those two missions can communicate with each other so this is nothing but what is mean by language and the program what is mean by program everyone is talking about program very simple sir set of rules set of rules is called as program set of rules is called as a program or 
so we can write a set of instructions set of instructions set of instructions okay so or we can say syntaxes and semantics okay so generally suppose consider i want to direct okay some person are so go to this particular place and submit 500 rupees they are going to give one product so bring that product to my house this is the instruction which i have given either that robot or a person sir is going to the same activity right yes so set of rules we have to follow even sir i have a demo session at 6 to 7 after completion of this 7 to 8 is one demo session like this our admin people instructed me to take the classes in this style so i have to follow in the same way here program is nothing but a set of instructions sir tomorrow one function is there in college have you prepared the programs list have you prepared the program program in the sense what at what time we have to start the uh, function and what time prior song is going to be happen at what time the chief guest we have to invite so uh, which persons are going to take speech for how much time then cultural activities then vote of thanks so then we have to wind up the function within time period like this we have to frame a chart so which is nothing program program okay so in the same way here also program is nothing but set of rules so which we are going to use or set of instructions which are used to communicate with the uh, mission then sir programming language means what i told already language means we know programming program means we know what is meant by programming language very simple so if you want to if a person wants to communicate with another person there is no issues directly we can communicate if a mission wants to communicate with another mission in this case also there is no issues directly we can communicate but uh, if a person wants to communicate with mission sir it is highly impossible impossible so for this for this so we have to okay we have to go for a tool a tool so called programming language so using this programming language we are going to communicate with the mission beyond that nothing observe carefully so here one person is there okay here assume one person is there this person wants to communicate with the mission so i have here mission is there assume this is nothing but a computer or any electronic device so here the mission here the person is giving hi message sir is it is it understandable by mission no so compulsory we have to convert in the form of zeros and ones similarly if a mission is giving any data it will be in the form of zeros and ones sir assume it is nothing but by so whatever instructions that you are giving it can't understandable by the mission so we have to uh, we have to use a proper tool so that that tool will take the responsibility to convert your program into mission understandable code okay so here programming language if you if you supply any english english statements so to your programming language what this programming language is going to return it will return output in the form of sir mission code or mission understandable code this is nothing but programming languages what we have then so there are different types of programming languages are available in the market so types of programming languages sir totally three types are there one is low level programming languages second one is high level programming languages so third one is middle level middle level programming languages like this totally we have three types of programming languages are there anyway i will give information about that so please confirm up to this whatever we covered so do you have any doubts yes please feel free to ask doubts
yes please respond any doubts up to this i request every student to respond very good now now sir i want to go for types of programming languages sir i want to explain a small scenario from that you will get what is the meaning of uh, so these languages like low level high level like that sir do you know best example when i started my career maybe i have started officially in the 2010 officially in 2010 sir january 1st sir assume at very beginning days i was working in some organization in a training institute okay of course as a part time in the evening time sir do you know what happened so when i am taking the classes a small chota room will be there so there first i have to go i need to switch on fans and lights and i have to switch on my system and then projector will be there a big screen i need to log in then i have to open command prompt i have to open notepad edit plus a software so then once if the student came then we have to start delivering the class sir if the duration of the class is 1 hour so for arrangement of things it will take some 20 minutes that means i am going to take only class around 40 minutes these type of activities are called as low level activities okay then if you take present trend so if any class is there sir administrative people are very very intelligent so they are not going to waste at least one minute of the faculty time because we recruited faculty and we are giving salary only to extract information from the faculty that's why so provide one assistant that assistant will take care of class cleaning and switching of the fans and lights system everything if the class is scheduled from 7 to 8 maybe 5 minutes delay you can expect but you have to start and you need to take the class for 1 hour okay so you can able to observe the differences at top level so in the low level activity everything we have to do in the high level activity assistance will be there sir same points also here if we are writing any instructions if you are writing any instructions low level instructions will be there so in low level programming and here so programmer is responsible programmer is responsible so to do all activities okay next best example for such type of programming languages so c c++ so basic fortran the languages which came at very beginning days are comes under this particular language coming to high level programming languages here so the instructions will be given in high level format so high level instructions will be there so programmer is responsible programmer is responsible okay to develop to develop only business logic okay so to develop only business logic the programmer is responsible okay so rest of the things assistance assistance will be provided that's all sir example programming languages so do you know c language okay sir c++ java python etc these these programming languages will comes under so high level then you may have a doubt sir c language is there in both low level and high level yes sir c supports the features of the features of both low level and high level so hence it is called as middle level programming language middle level programming language so if you want i will give this point also so c language with pointers is called as low level low level because 
with the help of pointers only we can able to communicate with memory unit all these things so c language without pointers is called as a high level the people who are coming from so c language background they can understand this word this is the reason why so many organizations institutions colleges universities are going to start the programming career with c language so this is nothing but what are the different types of programming languages what we have then sir i want to talk about the translators translators sir what is mean by translator very simple sir so translator means what so it converts it's it converts one form of data it converts one form of data into another form but in the programming language how this uh, point justification will be there so very simple in programming languages sir you can able to see it converts it converts human readable human readable code into so mission understandable code mission understandable code like this it will convert so next and after that so the following are different types of different types of translators different types of uh, translators available okay different types of translators available first one assemblers assemblers so second one compilers so third one interpreters of course the mode of the operation is the same sir assembler is used to convert mission and uh, sorry human readable code into mission understandable format compiler also will do the same activity interpreter also will do the same activity but uh, what is the difference between compiler and interpreter because it is a very very important task so what is the difference between compiler versus uh, interpreter sir i want to talk few minutes about these things so first point i will i will write the points in both compiler and interpreter sir observe carefully the first point here in the case of compiler is nothing but uh, sir compiler it is used to convert uh, so high level high level instructions high level instructions into into so mission understandable code mission understandable code like this we have so which will convert uh, high level instructions into mission understandable code guys please confirm am i audible is my voice is clear any disturbance from my side okay fine yeah very good so this is nothing but what is the meaning of okay so compiler and interpreter both definitions are same second point so in this case of compiler okay in this case of compiler so it scans the total program it scans the total program at a time but in the case of interpreter what it is going to do sir it scans the program line by line it scans the program line by line okay well and good then in the case of compiler so if uh, any error if any error occurred so we have to debug we have to debug and uh, all errors all errors will be displayed will be displayed at a time at a time okay but in the case of interpreter also almost same operation so if any error occurred we have to debug but uh, sir only top most error okay only top error top error with respect to uh, lines i am taking only top error will be displayed at a time 
so we have to rectify that then only it will display next error message okay so when these compilers are useful so if a error rate is very high so then recommended to use compilers and uh, the best example programming languages which uses compilers are nothing but c c++ java etc so interpreter means what so if a uh, error rate if error rate is so very low then recommended to use interpreters the best example programming languages which are using interpreter is nothing but javascript javascript so shell script okay so python and uh, even java also even java also sir immediately you may have a doubt what is that a doubt so java is both uh, compiled and uh, interpreted okay both compiled and interpreted programming language so at certain point at certain point it will act as a compiler and at certain point it will act as a interpreter but in java features i will explain so when it is going to act as a compiler and when it is going to act as a interpreter sir do you have any doubts with respect to this uh, compiler interpreter and the translator please confirm i request every student to respond any doubts up to this yes any doubts up to this please confirm okay fine so let me go for the next concept what we have here is sir i need to demonstrate with one small program okay i want to demonstrate uh, a small program so to explain the concept of compiler versus interpreter so for this purpose so don't uh, don't get confused i am taking one java program for compilation purpose and i will take one python program for interpreter purpose so i will explain how to prepare java program sir in detail explanation will be there on java program maybe uh, not tomorrow day after tomorrow we are going to discuss because tomorrow some theory topics we need to talk sir please concentrate well so here no need to get confused so just at a top level okay so at the top level i am going to explain how java program is going to work i am preparing a java program okay i am preparing a java program so this is the format of java program of course anyway i will explain just what i am trying to project for you people is nothing but how compiler is going to work beyond that nothing so hello one message is there okay so hello two message is there hello three message is there so there are three messages are there in my java program i need to execute this java program so in java if you want to execute the program there is one command is there anyway don't get confused sir i will explain java c test dot java is the command which is used to compile your java program in my program there is no error but if you run the program successfully the code is going to execute okay successfully the code is going to execute hello one hello two hello three like this we are getting sir i want to create some errors manually so i am removing this one and i am removing this one and i am removing this one so total how many errors are there in the program please confirm how many errors are there in the program please confirm hmm yes requesting everyone to respond how many errors are there oh not two three errors are there so i removed here and i removed here and i removed here 
so total three errors are there so as i told earlier compiler will scan the total program and it will display all errors at a time let me compile the code have you observed we are getting first error as unclosed string literal boss you have opened a string constant but you didn't close it what is the second error opening closing bracket is expected what is the next one semicolon is expected like this compiler means what it will scan the total program at a time if your program is having any error it will display all the errors at a time okay well and good what about interpreter so for this i am selecting a python program and let us save the python program as a test.py the extension for python program is nothing but dot .py sir okay dot .py is the extension now i am taking like this print of so i am taking hello one okay and then hello two and then hello three sir terminating with semicolon is not there in python okay so of course it is not as of now it is not in our scope so in python we have to use a py command directly to execute the program so no need to compile any program directly we can execute so py space test dot enter you can able to see all these messages came okay so next and after that sir i am removing some statements manually i am removing so what happens sir just now i told interpreter won't to display all errors at a time it will display only topmost error topmost error in the sense what here top to bottom every instruction is going to be scanned that's why first which error occurred that will be displayed have you observed so this is nothing but the error message what we got syntax error so unterminated string literal detected at line number 1 if you rectify this error then only second error will be displayed okay some people may have a doubt sir then better to go for compiler what is the need of interpreter sir performance wise interpreters also will give best performance sir if a programming language is not having any error then interpreter will work like anything parallel execution is going to be happen okay that part internally we will discuss if any situation came okay so this is nothing but uh, how we can able to differentiate compiler versus interpreter i hope uh, this first part introduction to the programming i think it is very clear for you people please confirm do you have any doubts in this first part sir especially the people who are new for the programming please confirm at least you got some idea please respond please confirm fine yes now so the next so the next chapter what we have here is sir part number 2 second part second part what is the second part so fundamentals of java okay second part i am going to talk fundamentals of java so only i will give uh, uh, syllabus we will discuss anyway tomorrow okay observe carefully part 2 part 2 so part 2 is what so fundamentals of java sir what things we are going to cover in this so first we will see introduction introduction to java how this java came 
so all these things we are going to discuss then next and after that uh, sir we are going to talk about um, okay so need for need for java need for java programming okay then sir editions editions of java so editions of java next and after that so java versions how many versions are there that part also we are going to discuss next and after that so softwares required to run java application if you want to run java application what softwares are required so next and after that sir we need to concentrate on a sample java program sample java program format what things will be there and uh, sir steps to prepare steps to prepare java application so even execution all these things we are going to cover here itself next uh, common errors in java program what common errors we are going to get so next and after that uh, installation installation of uh, various uh, softwares and uh, what is mean by path setting what is mean by path setting so next and after that what is mean by jdk what is mean by jre and uh, so what is mean by jvm okay and uh, what is mean by jit compiler like this we are going to discuss next and after that java features what are the different types of java features are available that part we are going to discuss so after completion of this so what is mean by comments how you can able to use comments so what is mean by keywords what are the list of keywords are available and uh, identifiers means what so what are the identifiers and uh, rules for writing identifiers so next and after that we are going to discuss about um, okay so after completion of this we are going to discuss about uh, variables means what okay next and after that constant constants means what so next and after that data types how many types of data types are there then we need to talk about literals next and after that type conversion so or we can use the word called type casting also how you can able to convert one type of data into another type of data next input and output statements are there okay next and after that command line command line arguments we are going to discuss so next and after that we are going to talk about uh, operators in java operators in java so next and after that so we are going to talk about the control flow statements control flow statements so next and after that some case studies okay that is nothing but uh, some programs programs on uh, all these topics around you can expect 50 to 60 programs then in all topics we will see mcqs also so this is nothing but the content of so second part fundamentals of java of course it takes minimum 2 to 2 to 3 weeks time to discuss about this fundamentals and please make sure that if you are very strong at fundamentals rest of the things will become dead easy sir okay so this is nothing but what we are going to cover okay so hope it is very clear for you people if you are having any queries please let me know so remaining things will be covered in the next session good morning friends in the last video sir we started a new batch on core java 7 am batch okay so yesterday just i have given introduction so regarding myself this is uh, k prakash babu having 13 years of experience in various technologies and coming to the details of our batch so the course of this batch is nothing but core java complete core java we are going to take the duration is nothing but 45 to 50 hours so two months duration probably you are going to get march april in this two months we can able to finish the course and the timings are nothing but 7 am early morning at fresh mind you can able to listen java 
so that uh, definitely i will give uh, i will give the word uh, so that you are going to get some knowledge from this okay so 7 am from monday to friday we are going to get these uh, sessions and uh, demos around 4 to 5 demos will be there i think this is the second class so fees for this course is a uh, 5000 generally it is a uh, 7000 on offer they kept as 5000 okay next contact number so to whom we have to contact for registration okay one minute i will give another number that will be correct yes so what is that number is nothing but um, so 9246 212143 you can contact to this number for registration purpose you can contact to this number for registration purpose okay then what benefits you are going to get once if you join into this particular batch i told already running notes will be given on the daily basis even in the last video i display i displayed some sample running notes also then recorded videos will be given with seven months access in next and after that multiple choice questions will be there and uh, we are going to practice the programs on hacker rank link you can able to get minimum 100 programs then after finishing of this session we can able to discuss core java interview questions also and the syllabus format also i explained very clearly in the last video so first introduction to programming fundamentals of java arrays concept strings concept oops principles predefined apis regular expressions multi uh, exception handling so multi threading collection framework files and databases jdbc java database connectivity with one small mini project so functional programming and some new concepts so even that demo is available in this video sir if you want you can able to refer this video also okay the demo is available in this video and uh, whatever knowledge we have covered in the last video i i want to have a small kind of a quiz for 5 minutes and then we will continue are you ready for quiz please confirm are you ready for quiz please confirm yes so i will display the multiple choice questions on the screen so please uh, understand the problem statement and uh, try to give the answers in chat window okay and try to give the answers in chat window okay so now just uh, of course it is not that much high level uh, questions just a small analysis whatever syllabus we covered in the last video so based on that syllabus okay yes so please please answer to these questions so what is the first question that we have here is i hope everyone is going to give the correct answers so observe carefully observe carefully so which concept is required to implement data structures in java programming yes please among these five options which is the correct option sir yes if you want you can unmute and you can speak you can give the answers also no issues yes what is the correct answers please confirm only except bharat what about remaining people very good very good okay so the correct answer is nothing but uh, sir do you know the concept which is required to implement data structures in java is nothing but uh, collections sir okay somewhere i have covered collection framework data structures in java okay so what is the correct answer for this question sir see just for your awareness purpose i am giving okay next so which concept is used to communicate with database yes please tell me among these four options which option is a correct which is which concept is used to communicate with database very good excellent so option d so we have to use jdbc java database connectivity to communicate with the database so next and after that so handling 
runtime errors is called as yes tell me what is the option so handling the errors at runtime if you are getting any error at runtime handling of this runtime errors so is called as which concept sir any idea is it multi threading or file handling or array handling or string handling or exception handling excellent majority of the people are giving the correct answer the answer is nothing but e exception handling next and after that next question so in java the string concepts are implemented by using which one yes in java the string concepts are implemented by using which concepts yes please tell me very good so the answer is nothing but e so i told in the syllabus so java provides a support for string string buffer string builder string tokenizer all these concepts are there in java so next maybe the last question so if we want to validate a mobile number sir i want to check whether the mobile number is a correct mobile number or not so for this purpose which concept we have to use yes please confirm regular expressions or arrays or strings or exception handling or files which one is recommended please confirm yes very good so the correct answer is nothing but option a so we can use regular expressions for validating purpose sir don't get sr is giving at the very first day itself multiple choice questions no so because you can able to see whatever concepts i explained on the syllabus same thing i provided so string have you observed sir then regular expression have you observed exception handling so data structures have you observed database connectivity like this just simplicity that's all beyond that nothing is there so this is nothing but whatever concepts we covered in the last video now in today's session i want to give the first chapter details okay i mean first part so part 1 total how many parts are there in our cinema total 13 parts are there okay so like bahubali 1 and 2 pushpa 1 and 2 so we have total 13 java parts are there every part is very very important so first we are going to talk about part 1 what is the title of the part sir introduction to programming introduction to programming so here we are going to discuss a few important aspects regarding introduction part okay so let us let us discuss about this introduction part so as a part of this introduction to programming sir i need to cover some few concepts what is the first concept is nothing but boss some people are going to use the word called language so what is mean by language so second thing is nothing but what is mean by program so what is mean by programming language majority of the people are going to use the word called programming language programming language so what is mean by programming language how many types of programming languages are available types of programming languages then so what is mean by translator what is mean by translator then so compiler compiler versus interpreter compiler versus interpreter next and after that we are going to see so example program example program to demonstrate compiler versus interpreter a small chota chapters are this one a small chapter is nothing but this one let me talk one by one so is the agenda is clear for you people please confirm if everything is clear i will start the session sir please confirm any doubts up to this please confirm any doubts up to this yeah you can use you can use mic also to speak sir no problem you can unmute and you can speak if you want to communicate with me okay 
no problem already i have given the permission also then sir first of all what is mean by language what is mean by language sir i am taking a class for you people so whatever statements i am giving you can able to understand whatever statements i am giving you can able to understand that means what sir both are having some kind of medium using that medium we can able to communicate with each other okay we can able to communicate with each other so here i am taking the class here i am taking the class so taking the class in which language sir english even i know very well telugu tamil all these things so this uh, english will act as a language for establishing a communication between so you people and myself so language means what sir we can able to say language is nothing but uh, communication okay communication medium we can able to see language is nothing but a communication medium by using this communication medium we can communicate with the other person or with mission like that so how many types of communications are there sir totally there are three types of communications are there but anyway in this language i will explain only two types person to person communication if a person wants to communicate with another person sir they can use telugu to communicate or tamil to communicate or hindi to communicate or english to communicate or arabic arabic to communicate okay so etc any language we can use but there should be a proper communication so you people are at, you people are attending this core java demo sessions the person who attended yesterday they can attend today's session also and make sure that they are going to attend so tomorrow's session day after tomorrow's session like that four to five demo session then he is going to pay the fee and he will register for the class so once if he follows the complete core java sessions by myself so that means what what is his expectations we are satisfying the requirement so if the communication is properly happening then nothing is required so for these two things are required one is acquiring the java knowledge and how the faculty is telling these two matters a lot so for this we can use one language for communication purpose okay well and good and here you can able to see mission to mission communication is also there sir yesterday i connected my hard disk to my laptop okay and then i copied some information from my uh, laptop to hard disk sir after that i connected to my mobile and i copied some information that means what my mobile is communicating with laptop mobile is a mission electronic device laptop is also a mission electronic device these two electronic devices are communicated with each other by using sir zeros and ones zeros and ones which is also called as binary language so using this binary language so those two missions can communicate with each other so this is nothing but what is mean by language and uh, program what is mean by program everyone is talking about program very simple sir set of rules set of rules is called as program set of rules is called as a program or so we can write a set of instructions set of instructions set of instructions okay so or we can say syntaxes and semantics okay so generally suppose consider i want to direct okay some person are so go to this particular place and submit 500 rupees they are going to give one product so bring that product to my house this is the instruction which i have given either that robot or a person sir is going to the same activity right yes so set of rules we have to follow even sir i have a demo session at 6 to 7 after completion of this 7 to 8 is one demo session like this our admin people instructed me to take the classes in this style 
so i have to follow in the same way here program is nothing but a set of instructions sir tomorrow one function is there in college have you prepared the programs list have you prepared the program program in the sense what at what time we have to start the uh, function and what time prayer song is going to be happen at what time the chief guest we have to invite so uh, which persons are going to take speech for how much time then cultural activities then vote of thanks so then we have to wind up the function within time period like this we have to frame a chart so which is nothing program program okay so in the same way here also program is nothing but set of rules so which we are going to use or set of instructions which are used to communicate with the uh, mission then sir programming language means what i told already language means we know programming program means we know what is mean by programming language very simple so if you want to if a person wants to communicate with another person there is no issues directly we can communicate if a mission wants to communicate with another mission in this case also there is no issues directly we can communicate but uh, if a person wants to communicate with mission sir it is highly impossible impossible so for this for this so we have to okay we have to go for a tool a tool so called programming language so using this programming language we are going to communicate with the mission beyond that nothing observe carefully so here one person is there okay here assume one person is there this person wants to communicate with the mission so i have here mission is there assume this is nothing but a computer or any electronic device so here the mission here the person is giving high message sir is it is it understandable by mission no so compulsory we have to convert in the form of zeros and ones similarly if a mission is giving any data it will be in the form of zeros and ones sir assume it is nothing but by so whatever instructions that you are giving it can't understandable by the mission so we have to uh, we have to use a proper tool so that that tool will take the responsibility to convert your program into mission understandable code okay so here programming language if you if you supply any english english statements so to your programming language what this programming language is going to return it will return output in the form of sir mission code or mission understandable code this is nothing but programming languages what we have then so there are different types of programming languages are available in the market so types of programming languages sir totally three types are there one is low level programming languages second one is high level programming languages so third one is middle level middle level programming languages like this totally we have three types of programming languages are there anyway i will give information about that so please confirm up to this whatever we covered so do you have any doubts yes please feel free to ask doubts yes please respond any doubts up to this i request every student to respond very good now now sir i want to go for types of programming languages sir i want to explain a small scenario from that you will get what is the meaning of uh, so these languages like low level high level like that sir do you know best example when i started my career maybe i have started officially in the 
officially in 2010 sir january 1st sir assume at very beginning days i was working in some organization in a training institute okay of course as a part time in the evening time sir do you know what happened so when i am taking the classes a small chota room will be there so there first i have to go i need to switch on fans and lights and i have to switch on my system and then projector will be there a big screen i need to log in then i have to open command prompt i have to open notepad edit plus a software so then once if the student came then we have to start delivering the class sir if the duration of the class is 1 hour so for arrangement of things it will take some 20 minutes that means i am going to take only class around 40 minutes these type of activities are called as low level activities okay then if you take present a trend so if any class is there sir administrative people are very very intelligent so they are not going to waste at least one minute of the faculty time because we recruited faculty and we are giving salary only to extract information from the faculty that's why so provide one assistant that assistant will take care of class cleaning and switching of the fans and lights system everything if the class is scheduled from 7 to 8 maybe 5 minutes delay you can expect but you have to start and you need to take the class for 1 hour okay so you can able to observe the differences at top level so in the low level activity everything we have to do in the high level activity assistance will be there sir same points also here if we are writing any instructions if you are writing any instructions low level instructions will be there so in low level programming and here so programmer is responsible programmer is responsible so to do all activities okay next best example for such type of programming languages so c c++ so basic fortran the languages which came at very beginning days are comes under this particular language coming to high level programming languages here so the instructions will be given in high level format so high level instructions will be there so programmer is responsible programmer is uh, responsible okay to develop to develop uh, only business logic okay so to develop only business logic the programmer is responsible okay so rest of the things assistance assistance will be provided that's all sir example programming languages so do you know c language okay sir c++ java python etc these these programming languages will comes under so high level then you may have a doubt sir c language is there in both low level and high level yes sir c supports the features of the features of both low level and high level so hence it is called as middle level programming language middle level programming language so if you want i will give this point also so c language with the pointers is called as low level low level because with the help of pointers only we can able to communicate with memory unit all these things so c language without pointers is called as a high level the people who are coming from so c language background they can understand this word this is the reason why so many organizations institutions colleges universities are going to start the programming career with c language so this is nothing but what are the different types of programming languages what we have then sir i want to talk about the translators translators sir what is mean by translator very simple sir so translator means what so it converts it's it converts one form of data it converts one form of data into another form 
but in the programming language how this uh, point justification will be there so very simple in programming languages sir you can able to see it converts it converts human readable human readable code into so mission understandable code mission understandable code like this it will convert so next and after that so the following are different types of different types of translators different types of uh, translators available okay different types of translators available first one assemblers assemblers so second one compilers so third one interpreters of course the mode of the operation is the same sir assembler is used to convert mission un, uh, sorry human readable code into mission understandable format compiler also will do the same activity interpreter also will do the same activity but uh, what is the difference between compiler and interpreter because it is a very very important task so what is the difference between compiler versus uh, interpreter sir i want to talk few minutes about these things so first point i will i will write the points in both compiler and interpreter sir observe carefully the first point here in the case of compiler is nothing but uh, sir compiler it is used to convert uh, so high level high level instructions high level instructions into into so mission understandable code mission understandable code like this we have so which will convert high level instructions into mission understandable code guys please confirm am i audible is my voice is clear any disturbance from my side okay fine yeah very good so this is nothing but what is the meaning of uh, okay so compiler and interpreter both definitions are same second point so in this case of compiler okay in this case of compiler so it scans the total program it scans the total program at a time but in the case of interpreter what it is going to do sir it scans the program line by line it scans the program line by line okay well and good then in the case of compiler so if uh, any error if any error occurred so we have to debug we have to debug and uh, all errors all errors will be displayed will be displayed at a time at a time okay but in the case of interpreter also almost same operation so if any error occurred we have to debug but uh, sir only top most error okay only top error top error with respect to uh, lines i am taking only top error will be displayed at a time so we have to rectify that then only it will display next error message okay so when these compilers are useful so if a error rate is very high so then recommended to use compilers and uh, the best example programming languages which uses compilers are nothing but c c++ java etc so interpreter means what so if a uh, error rate if error rate is so very low then recommended to use interpreters the best example programming languages which are using interpreter is nothing but javascript javascript so shell script okay so python and even java also 
even java also sir immediately you may have a doubt what is that a doubt so java is both uh, compiled and uh, interpreted okay both compiled and interpreted programming language so at certain point at certain point it will act as a compiler and at certain point it will act as a interpreter but in java features i will explain so when it is going to act as a compiler and when it is going to act as a interpreter sir do you have any doubts with respect to this uh, compiler interpreter and translator please confirm i request every student to respond any doubts up to this yes any doubts up to this please confirm okay fine so let me go for the next concept what we have here is sir i need to demonstrate with one small program okay i want to demonstrate uh, a small program so to explain the concept of compiler versus interpreter so for this purpose so don't uh, don't get confused i am taking one java program for compilation purpose and i will take one python program for interpreter purpose so i will explain how to prepare java program sir in detail explanation will be there on java program maybe uh, not tomorrow day after tomorrow we are going to discuss because tomorrow some theory topics we need to talk sir please concentrate well so here no need to get confused so just at a top level okay so at the top level i am going to explain how java program is going to work i am preparing a java program okay i am preparing a java program so this is the format of java program of course anyway i will explain just what i am trying to project for you people is nothing but how compiler is going to work beyond that nothing so hello one message is there okay so hello two message is there hello three message is there so there are three messages are there in my java program i need to execute this java program so in java if you want to execute the program there is one command is there anyway don't get confused sir i will explain java c test dot java is the command which is used to compile your java program in my program there is no error but if you run the program successfully the code is going to execute okay successfully the code is going to execute hello one hello two hello three like this we are getting sir i want to create some errors manually so i am removing this one and i am removing this one and i am removing this one so total how many errors are there in the program please confirm how many errors are there in the program please confirm hmm yes requesting everyone to respond how many errors are there oh not two three errors are there so i removed here and i removed here and i removed here so total three errors are there so as i told earlier compiler will scan the total program and it will display all errors at a time let me compile the code have you observed we are getting first error as unclosed string literal boss you have opened a string constant but you didn't close it what is the second error opening closing bracket is expected what is the next one semicolon is expected like this compiler means what it will scan the total program at a time if your program is having any error it will display all the errors at a time okay well and good what about interpreter so for this i am selecting a python program and let us save the python program as a test.py the extension for python program is nothing but .py sir 
okay dot py is the extension now i am taking like this print of so i am taking hello one okay and then hello two and then hello three sir terminating with the semicolon is not there in python okay so of course it is not as of now it is not in our scope so in python we have to use a py command directly to execute the program so no need to compile any program directly we can execute so py space test dot see enter you can able to see all these messages came okay so next and after that sir i am removing some statements manually i am removing so what happens sir just now i told interpreter won't to display all errors at a time it will display only topmost error topmost error in the sense what here top to bottom every instruction is going to be scanned that's why first which error occurred that will be displayed have you observed so this is nothing but the error message what we got syntax error so unterminated string literal detected at line number 1 if you rectify this error then only second error will be displayed okay some people may have a doubt sir then better to go for compiler what is the need of interpreter sir performance wise interpreters also will give best performance sir if a programming language is not having any error then interpreter will work like anything parallel execution is going to be happen okay that part internally we will discuss if any situation came okay so this is nothing but uh, how we can able to differentiate compiler versus interpreter i hope uh, this first part introduction to the programming i think it is very clear for you people please confirm do you have any doubts in this first part sir especially the people who are new for the programming please confirm at least you got some idea please respond please confirm fine yes now so the next so the next chapter what we have here is sir part number 2 second part second part what is the second part so fundamentals of java okay second part i am going to talk fundamentals of java so only i will give uh, uh, syllabus we will discuss anyway tomorrow okay observe carefully part 2 part 2 so part 2 is what so fundamentals of java sir what things we are going to cover in this so first we will see introduction introduction to java how this java came so all these things we are going to discuss then next and after that uh, sir we are going to talk about um, okay so need for need for java need for java programming okay then sir editions editions of java so editions of java next and after that so java versions how many versions are there that part also we are going to discuss next and after that so softwares required to run java application if you want to run java application what softwares are required so next and after that sir we need to concentrate on a sample java program sample java program format what things will be there and 
sir steps to prepare steps to prepare java application so even execution all these things we are going to cover here itself next uh, common errors in java program what common errors we are going to get so next and after that uh, installation installation of uh, various uh, softwares and uh, what is mean by path setting what is mean by path setting so next and after that what is mean by jdk what is mean by jre and uh, so what is mean by jvm okay and uh, what is mean by jit compiler like this we are going to discuss next and after that java features what are the different types of java features are available that part we are going to discuss so after completion of this so what is mean by comments how you can able to use comments so what is mean by keywords what are the list of keywords are available and uh, identifiers means what so what are the identifiers and uh, rules for writing identifiers so next and after that we are going to discuss about term um, okay so after completion of this we are going to discuss about uh, variables means what okay next and after that constant constants means what so next and after that data types how many types of data types are there then we need to talk about literals next and after that type conversion so or we can use the word called type casting also how you can able to convert one type of data into another type of data next input and output statements are there okay next and after that command line command line arguments we are going to discuss so next and after that we are going to talk about uh, operators in java operators in java so next and after that so we are going to talk about the control flow statements control flow statements so next and after that some case studies okay that is nothing but uh, some programs programs on uh, all these topics around you can expect 50 to 60 programs then in all topics we will see mcqs also so this is nothing but the content of so second part fundamentals of java of course it takes minimum two week two to three weeks time to discuss about these fundamentals and please make sure that if you are very strong at fundamentals rest of the things will become dead easy sir okay so this is nothing but what we are going to cover okay so hope it is very clear for you people if you are having any queries please let me know so remaining things will be covered in the next session good morning friends in the last videos just we started a new core java batch at morning seven o'clock okay so the title of the course is core java and the duration is nothing but two months within 45 to 50 hours we are going to finish this core java minimum 45 sir minimum 45 to 50 okay so the timings of this session is nothing but morning 7 to 8 to 15 like that 8 o'clock we will take and monday to friday regular classes will be there and how many demo sessions will be there four to five i think this is the third class third class i think so okay so fees for this batch is nothing but five thousand and to whom you have to contact nine two four six two one two one four three so to this contact number you can contact and you can request for so payment link and all these things you can able to do with this okay so next and after that so what benefits we are going to get from this sir every topic clearly i will explain in an understandable manner first point so second point this object oriented programming will be covered with uh, some real time examples so i will compare every topic with real world and then i will explain so next uh, running notes recorded sessions multiple choice questions so programs to practice hacker rank link i am going to provide for you people and even core java interview questions also will be there sir okay then so what is the syllabus i explained in the first demo session itself if you want you can watch this uh, 
playlist is there playlist is there in this complete first session second session both are available here okay first session and the second session both are available so video one and video session one okay comma and session two these two sessions are available here so both the sessions are available here if you want you can refer this playlist so i am going to share the playlist in your chat window okay so the people who wants to view the previous two classes you can copy paste this link into your clipboard and you can able to listen the classes okay so on the syllabus itself on the syllabus itself just we have solved some multiple choice questions okay around four to five multiple choice questions we discussed in the last session then we started the first part of our java which is nothing but introduction to programming sir what is mean by programming okay in detail if you want to learn we need to concentrate on these seven subtopics what is the first one sir language what is the second one program so what is the third one programming language types of programming language translator compiler versus interpreter example program to demonstrate compiler versus interpreter all these things in detail we discussed in the last video okay so even what is mean by language so what is mean by program what is mean by programming language how many types of programming languages are there so what is mean by translator so what is mean by compiler versus interpreter example program to demonstrate a compiler so all errors will be displayed at a time if you use compiler and if you use interpreter only topmost error one error will be re, uh, displayed so we have to solve that problem then only we are going for the next uh, next error okay so this kind of uh, uh, problem is there in interpreter of course based on the programming language performance of this interpreter and the compiler is going to vary okay and luckily our java is both compiled and interpreted programming language so how it became both compiled and interpreted we will discuss in our upcoming sessions don't worry so hope this is nothing but the things whatever we discussed in the last video that is nothing but the first part so of course it is a completely theory part i hope it is very clear for you people and uh, even we have started a second part syllabus also so introduction to java okay need for java programming need for java programming then so how many editions of java is available so what are the java versions available so softwares which are required for uh, running java application so sample java program permit steps to prepare java application sir what are the common errors that you are going to get installation of uh, various uh, softwares which are required for java how to set the path so jre jdk jvm and jit means what java features comments keywords identifiers all these things we are going to discuss one by one okay now let me start explaining up to certain uh, up to certain uh, what you can call certain concepts in today's session sir please confirm up to this do you have any doubts shall we start please confirm up to this do you have any doubts is everything is clear very good yes sir now introduction to java boss who developed java programming and what is the history history of java sir do you know java was developed by a famous person called james james gosling james gosling and sir team members team members okay james gosling and team developed java okay sir it was uh, it was uh, initially maintained by sun microsystems it was in initially maintained by sun microsystems 
in 1991 so later it has been handed by oracle company oracle company in sir 2010 from 2010 onwards who is responsible to official vendor official vendor for this uh, uh, java is nothing but oracle from 2010 but initially from 1991 to 2010 who is responsible to release this java versions and uh, maintenance everything will be done by sun microsystems at those days there are two famous companies are there sun microsystems and microsoft okay of course dot net all these related things will be done by uh, this microsoft and this java related technologies was was introduced by these sun microsystems okay even though if you develop any language any new language someone has to provide support for release activities something sponsorship like that sun microsystems and oracle company these two are placing an important role and uh, nowadays java became general purpose programming language general purpose general purpose programming language so initially this java is called as oak oak programming language oak programming language so here oak means sir it is a big big tree name sir in one country it is nothing but a big tree so which represents strength which represents strength so java is that much popular those days that's why they selected this oak as the name but do you know after keeping this oak within 15 days this java people got a, okay legal notice saying there is one company is there with name oak so how you can able to use that name for your language like this they got a, so legal notice then they thought to change the name immediately they shifted to one famous word so why they kept this word in the sense in in their meetings so they are keep on drinking the coffees so in that country one of the coffee which is a very famous is nothing but java have you observed that java is nothing but sir coffee seed name hope you know very well about this one so by 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 using that coffee seed name they kept the programming language name itself as a sir java java means what it is nothing but a coffee seed name coffee seed name okay so this is the uh, this is the reason why this uh, name came why this uh, name came and java is having so many beautiful features are there but uh, so i will i will describe about these these features one by one but i want to give clarity on one things so it is used to develop desktop applications it is used to develop desktop applications it is used to develop server side applications it is used to develop server side applications even we can develop mobile applications also by using this java okay but desktop applications desktop applications definitely we are going to see one or two small mini projects in our course one or two small mini projects in our course for desktop applications even server side application is also available server server side applications also available so i won't explain this server side application but i will show you the complete flow of the project okay so one one small project one small project anyway just visualization only uh, uh, you can able to view view that project i can't explain this server side technology so for our course because it is a core java session right that's why but anyway i will show you how the application is flowing from one page to another page by taking a small web application i will explain then sir even mobile applications are there but i don't have any knowledge on this android so that's why i am not going to take any session on this okay so android applications will be developed by using java only the main theme behind this uh, um, android is nothing but uh, java only sir okay so this is nothing but a small introduction a small introduction for java so then 
sir need for java programming why we need to go for java programming why we need to go for java programming there are few concepts are there sir the first one is nothing but sir i want to prepare distributed i want to prepare distributed applications we need a programming language so to transfer the data across the network like i will prepare a program in my system and i have to execute that program in the entire world okay it is called as a distributed nature so for that i need one programming so for that we can go for java so which will give high security sir in java so high security will be there high security will be there and moreover when you are transferring the data sir it performs both the compilation both the compilation and the interpretation so that's why it will give more performance also so at the server side it will work compilation at the execution it will use interpretation okay remember carefully then sir uh, do you know the beautiful powerful okay powerful jre is there in java jre means so java runtime environment java runtime environment sir a small story i want to explain about this jre suppose consider i developed one small java application in my system i developed one small java application assume it is a calculator application sir once if the application got developed in my system i need to check minimum sir 100 times whether is there any bug is there in my program or is it working properly for different test cases so after verifying all these things sir i hand over that that particular project that particular application to client mission so hand overing in the sense what because it is a software we have to install sir after installing into that particular client mission if i want to work in the client mission sir no need for any java software because java software is used for two phases in this case one is creating java application executing java application so for creating and executing compulsory the developer has to take the risk but uh, for client mission no need to no need to use any development tools only runtime environment is sufficient so this runtime environment is there only in java sir okay so if i want to execute any java program in my mission java software is not required only runtime environment will be available and it is by default available in all operating systems no need to install by default jre will be there in every operating system it may be either unix or linux or windows or mac os in any operating system by default jre will be there so hence so directly we can execute java applications without installing java software but that is not the case for python if you want to work with python applications background python software must be required so not only python even if you want to take dotnet of course in the dotnet web based applications will be there so i am talking about the system uh, dependent like desktop applications okay so this is nothing but what we have so next and after that okay next and after that uh, sir do you know uh, these java programs are sir mission mission independent 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 means what the programs which you have created in your mission so will execute in other missions other operating systems also and uh, it follows one principle ora principle ora means what so write once run anywhere anywhere or any number of times so you have to develop only one time but you can run that application any number of times so for all these things we need to go for which concept sir java okay i hope this introduction to the java and uh, this need for java programming these two theory small concepts are clear for you people i think so please confirm do you have any doubts up to this clear guys
ప్లీజ్ రెస్పాండ్ ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఎవ్రీ స్టూడెంట్ టు ప్లీజ్ రెస్పాండ్ yes fine sir so now we need to go for few more things okay we need to go for few more things so what is the next one is nothing but sir editions of java sir how many editions are there so there are three editions are there for java okay there are three editions are there for java so what is the first one is nothing but sir j2 okay so j2 se or we can use the word called jse jse stands for so java java standard standard editions okay in java 11 we don't have separate jre will you explain module concept in this course yeah but not all features of java we are going to touch the features which are very very important for programming purpose i will cover only those features like lambda expressions functional programming so such a type of things will be there but not in detail deepak okay so java standard edition java standard edition is there okay so by using this java standard edition sir we can able to develop okay we can able to develop normal desktop applications okay normal desktop applications up to certain gui level applications also we can develop so desktop desktop applications okay uh, and even we can we can develop some kind of uh, gui applications okay sir do you know this jdbc java database connectivity is also a standard edition program only and it is sometimes call it as core java so the things which we are going to learn is nothing but j2se only so next sir j2 java 2 so enterprise edition is also available java 2 enterprise edition sometimes we will call it as j double e also okay so what is the full form of j double e java sir enterprise enterprise edition okay java enterprise edition so by using this so i told right we can develop okay enterprise applications we can develop enterprise applications okay or we can develop web applications web applications or we can develop distributed applications of course it is not in our curriculum as of now because it comes under advanced java advanced java like uh, server side technologies we have to learn like servlets like servlets okay so jsps jsps okay so then uh, uh, spring 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 boot frameworks or spring frameworks okay struts all these things will come under this j2 j2 double e so next and after that so what is the last addition is nothing but j2 me or i can use j me okay or i can use j me so what is the full form sir java mobile or micro edition java mobile or micro edition so which is used to develop so mobile based applications mobile based applications okay so mobile based applications in the sense we are seeing the applications android apps all these things right that's why so android is the best example which uses internally java sir so these are nothing but various editions which we have but we are going to learn j2 se java 2 standard edition next and after that sir what are the different versions of java available how many versions are there in java sir very 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 important point listen carefully okay sir do you know the first java language the first java language what we have got is nothing but jdk 1.0 which is also called as oak which is also called as oak previously 
ఓకే ద ఫస్ట్ వర్షన్ కేమ్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ సిక్స్ సార్ నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ సిక్స్ ఫస్ట్ వర్షన్ కేమ్ దెన్ సో జేడీకే ఓకే వన్ పాయింట్ వన్ ఆల్సో కేమ్ ఇన్ టు ద మార్కెట్ సో ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ సెవెన్ ఓకే సో దెన్ జే టూ జే టూ జావా స్టాండర్డ్ ఎడిషన్ సార్ జే జేడీకే వన్ పాయింట్ టూ ఆల్సో కేమ్ ఇన్ టు ద మార్కెట్ సో విచ్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ ఎయిట్ ఓకే సార్ నెక్స్ట్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ జేడీకే వన్ పాయింట్ త్రీ ఆల్సో కేమ్ సో ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ టూ థౌజండ్ దెన్ సో జేడీకే వన్ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ కేమ్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ టూ దెన్ సో జేడీకే వన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ వన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ టెక్నికలీ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు యూజ్ బట్ అఫిషియలీ సో దే హ్యావ్ గివెన్ యాజ్ సార్ జావా ఫైవ్ జావా ఫైవ్ ఓకే బట్ ఇంటర్నలీ ఇట్ ఈస్ వన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ ఓన్లీ సార్ ఓకే జస్ట్ దే చేంజ్ ఇట్ ద నేమ్ జస్ట్ దే చేంజ్ ఇట్ ద నేమ్ సో ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్ దే హ్యావ్ రిలీజ్ ఇట్ దిస్ దెన్ సో జావా సిక్స్ ఈజ్ దేర్ జావా సిక్స్ ఈజ్ దేర్ so which was released in 2006 so then java 7 java 7 is there so java 7 released in so 2011 okay so java 8 is there java 8 is released in 2014 so java 9 is there java 9 released in 2017 okay so next and after that so java 10 java 10 so it is sorry 2000 10 yeah 2001 minute one minute yeah 2017 yeah so java java 10 is there so java 10 is released in 2018 so java okay 11 is there so it is released in 2018 two versions came on that year okay so two versions came then sir java 12 is there so java 12 is released in 2019 even java 13 is also released in 2019 itself okay so then java 14 was came into the picture so in 2020 okay so java okay so java 15 also came into the market same in 2020 only so java 16 came into the market sir it is it is java 16 came into the market in 2021 so java 17 also came so java 17 also came in 2021 so the official release date is nothing but sir 16th march 16th march 2021 so here the official date is nothing but sir 14th 14th september 2021 so like this what is the latest version of java sir java 14 sorry java 17 is nothing but the latest version what we have okay these are nothing but various versions which are available okay so hope it is very clear for you people about java editions and java versions so you may ask what is the difference between these versions why we have this many versions very simple sir every programming language is going for updates right even in our mobile if i install any software what will happen for every two months or for every one month it is going to display some updates right updates updates in the sense what new features are added so old things will be there as it is some extra enhancements will be there sir maybe in the in the camera if i am saving any document any any picture then it is it is creating okay some kind of resolution i want to increase that resolution or i want to take some default frames i want to introduce it then you can develop the patch file and you can go for updates so in that update once if you install then you are going to get the frame if you want to uninstall that updates also yes it is possible okay like just i am telling how these versions are going to be developed so these are not 17 programming language okay these are not 17 programming languages only one programming languages small small enhancements will be there beyond that nothing i hope it is very clear for you people about java editions and java versions please confirm clarity any doubts friends up to this and so please uh, make sure that some information has sent on chart window you can able to see 
the people who want to register for this course you can follow these instructions okay yes please confirm any doubts up to this very good now sir i need to go for the next concept uh, i think so theory concept only the next theory concept what i have here is boss what are the softwares that are required to run java application sir anyway you are explaining java we will learn i know but if i want to practice in my laptop if i want to practice in my desktop which softwares are required there are n number of softwares are there but my suggestions and my recommendations will be there don't worry first software which is required is nothing but sir basic editor which is nothing but a notepad of course it is by default okay it is by default available in each and every operating system so no need to install by default this is called as notepad so by default it will be available just it is the place to type your program beyond that nothing is there it is a type to uh, i mean it is a place to type your program okay so next and after that it is by default available so next and after that we have to use command prompt also command prompt also i think you can able to see this is nothing but the command prompt what we have have you observed so you can able to see at the top command prompt so by using this command prompt you can able to execute the programs okay so i will show you how to execute all these things don't worry at all so command prompt it is also by default available then you have to download and install java latest version you have to download and install java latest version sir from where we have to download from the official website oracle.com anyway a separate video will be given for you so in that java installation will be there you can refer that video in future okay next sir after this okay this is sufficient but uh, if you want to improve your performance level in your coding skills so you need any editor so my recommendation is nothing but sir edit plus is there it is it is one of the famous editor i hope you can able to see so where i am typing all these things sir have you observed it is the edit plus this is nothing but the file name and it is available in this location so here some ready made support will be there if you click on file and if you go to new it will ask for different kind of programming languages boss i want to prepare html default html skeleton will be there have you observed even if you want you can select colors from this also automatically that color code will be there from here you can execute directly program also okay like such a type of predefined environments will be there even you can select java program java program will be like this okay so even if you want you can select perl programming it will be like this everything is available sir that's why it is highly recommended to download and install this edit plus yeah yeah please wait ashish please wait okay so next and after that next editor which is required sir please confirm please confirm so we people are sir we are going to do hard work we are going to do hard work or or smart work please confirm yes please confirm smart work is uh, smart work or hard work which is which is benefitable sir yes please respond everyone everyone okay so if any person if any person is thinking like that smart smart work smart work please make sure that you people are lazy people so hard work will give always best results okay one minute so you people may ask sir why 
why because i am talking with respect to programming terminology hard work means complete core concepts you can able to get okay smart work means what sir smart work means at the time of real time applications in the real time applications you can go with smart work suppose if if any person is asking are write a logic write a logic for prime number okay write a logic for prime number like this if any question came in your application then there are two ways are there to solve first one is what so take so 30 minutes take 30 minutes time time and think and prepare okay think and prepare logic this is this is one option what is the second second option sir copy paste so from google these are the two works we have so which is recommended means sir at student level at student level or at learning phase at a learning stage sir better to go for so preparation of logic okay but uh, in working environment in working environment happily you can copy paste but provided you should know that logic so that's why even if you copy paste any code from google also once if you started learning java from the first phase from, from the hard work then you can understand what is the code which is there in google so first time itself is depending on google means sir definitely it is highly impossible for you so for that sir my programs will be only on these things i will explain the programs so only on these three edit plus command prompt java latest version first program sir i want to explain like this because it is a smart work so just i am getting lazy to type these seven lines but our, at very first one or two programs definitely i will type every line sir so that what will happen you people have to get uh, from the scratch okay so you should not ask what is the meaning of static if any faculty is telling sir static means this is fixed that's all main method should be always static so it is syntactically this is the rule we have to follow no you have to learn every pin to pin every word is having a special meaning in the java program sir that's why so at the very beginning stage itself sir you have to learn each and everything from the core concepts that's why so maximum our programs will be on this only so maximum in the sense up to 70% i am going to take my classes only on these three sir then i am going to introduce sir integrated integrated so development environment that means what in our short form ides so we are going for some ides okay sir there are n number of ides are there one is sir intellij ide is there okay which is used for preparing java applications okay so next next one what we have here is sir eclipse eclipse ide is there of course majority of the it companies are also going to use eclipse only because it is java based uh, editor sir then we can go with netbeans 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 ide is also there so all these things also i will explain sir okay so i told somewhere collections concept the complete collections concept i will explain by using this eclipse only complete collections in the beginning somewhere i have given the syllabus right yes you can able to see collection framework the complete collections i am going to explain so in our eclipse ide only okay so because uh, once if you know everything then we have to touch this area also then netbeans sir this one complete jdbc and i told one small mini project right those things will be covered in netbeans so that we are going to touch all the areas sir one more example i want to give for you people so regarding this uh, uh, softwares okay sir do you know if you if you want to find out okay so around some 25 to 30 methods 30 methods are there in java java strings sir very simple if you are using eclipse or netbeans so if you take any string and if you if you if you are taking dot then 
all these 30 methods will be pop up into one bar sir okay one choice menu you are going to get in that you have to select which method you want to apply so easily every person can understand that one so he is going to select so i want to convert this into uppercase so what methods are there if you take two automatically that starting with the two what methods are there it will list out then from that you have to select two uppercase sir even typing is also not required just up to this if you take automatically suggestion will come if you press enter it will take this word even typing is also helping by these ids sir this is okay at the usage level when you are developing the applications it is okay but at the learning if you copy paste or if you if you allow this ide to to uh, uh, what you can call to replace uh, this uh, function with two uppercase then you can't type that two uppercase method once if you type on your own hands then only you will get what is the meaning of this two uppercase what things it is going to take what it is going to return everything you have to learn sir so for this purpose compulsory we have to start learning from the basic editors then finally you can go for any ids no problem at all i hope so don't mind definitely i am going to cover this eclipse and netbeans at end now please tell me hard work or smart work which is the best for us in our regular classes please confirm <laughs> after 20 minutes lecture immediately the answer got changed very good very good sir up to these softwares do you have any doubts don't worry i will explain how to install all these softwares sir uh, yeah she is telling both excellent excellent yes any doubts up to this please confirm friends any doubts up to this please confirm so that i will go for next concept difference between j2 jsc and jw i told already jsc is used for developing sir stand alone applications like core java applications so j2 we or jwe is used for web based applications stand alone applications in the sense so you are preparing an application which will run only on your machine okay but if you take enterprise applications or uh, distributed applications or server side applications you are going to prepare in one system and we can execute that in any number of systems okay client server architecture will be there in j2e but in j2se yes, we have to run the application only in the system where you have developed okay but of course our concept is core java only so without core java knowledge we can't learn advanced java also okay clear gayatri please confirm yes so let me go for the next concept so what we have here is okay sir a simple java programming format so how the java program format will be there so before explaining this concept sir i want to go for a small scenario so if i want to develop any program because we are learning this java only to prepare the programs only right so if i want to prepare any program sir some basic steps are required what are the basic steps is nothing but sir first you must understand what is mean by syntax what is mean by syntax okay so our java follows what kind of syntax so that's why you have joined into this course so for developing a programs based on the rules and regulations which was given by oracle and sun microsystems so that i will explain concept by concept so syntax is very very important thing sir next and after that concept concept is also very very important when you are developing the program so if you are reading 
two numbers from the user and if you want to calculate addition of those two numbers and if i want to display the result to the end user sir what concepts are required so first to read the data and to display the data input output statements must be required you are telling addition of two numbers so you have to use one operator called plus operators concept must be known so next and after that sir we are we are we are going to store the results so that's why we have to take variables so what is mean by variable it is a container to hold some value that part also we have to discuss so just for a sample program we need three to four concepts that's why so after understanding the syntax concept is very very important so then after this sir logics logics are very very important so especially uh, the people who are coming from logic based programming course you can able to get this sir in that batch we are going to think about the logic sir this is the problem statement which they have given how to prepare logic for that which is very very important okay once if the logic is prepared prepared sir then you have to supply input and our application will produce output if everything is correct so this is nothing but a complete okay the programmer the programmer have to concentrate on these areas before going to the program then coming to sir sample java programming format what things are there if i want to develop a program what things should be there sir very simple i am talking some parts the first part is nothing but package section package section okay so second second part is nothing but a comments comments section okay so third part is nothing but uh, sir something like import section import section import section will be there so fourth part fourth part is nothing but uh, sir classes classes or interfaces or any records or enum so these things we have to take then fifth part is nothing but main program or main class section these are the five parts which we have sir one small note all are optional all are optional except fifth part except fifth part everything is nothing but optional sir so package section in packages we are going to see about this package section comments section sir if i want to provide description or documentation about my program you have to go for package section sir comments uh, i mean comments sorry uh, not package section comment section sir already some library is available i want to use that library in my program then we have to go for import section so i want to use that library in my system i i mean in my program then we have to go for import section then fourth one sir classes interfaces enumeration any records such type of sections are there so what is the use of this fourth one in the sense we will discuss in object oriented programming in oops concepts i will explain about that then main class section also is available so where we have to write main program but of course for almost 30 to 40% of the syllabus we will concentrate only on fifth part remaining things will be covered based on the concepts okay so this is nothing but what we have then so what is the next concept that we have here is next topic is one minute one minute yes steps to prepare java applications okay steps to prepare java applications so what steps are there okay first i will give the steps explanation we will see in the next classes okay so what is the first step step 1 okay step 1 so edit edit the program you have to take any editor and you have to type the program you have to type the program first step so second step second step so save the program save the program in any location in any local location okay you have to choose any any folder and then you have to save the files so next and after that we have to compile the program we have to compile the java program okay for errors by using 
Java C command. There is one command is there called Java C. I will explain how to use that Java command. So in in command prompt we have to type this. Okay, or better I will take step three as a, so open open command prompt. Okay, so with uh, uh, saved locations with saved with saved locations. So where you have saved your Java files with that location you have to open command prompt then we have to compile the java program so what is the next step step number five is nothing but we have to run the java program okay we have to run the java program okay for execution for execution that is nothing but output for output purpose so by using which command java command so as of now i covered two commands java c is used for compiling it is used for compilation compilation okay so there is one more command is there java which is used for execution so anyway what is the syntax of this java c what is the syntax of java i will explain in tomorrow's session so hope it is very clear for you people please confirm guys do you have any doubts up to this hmm. I request everyone to respond. Any doubts up to this? Very good. As of now, these sessions are there in YouTube. Okay, as of now, these sessions are there in YouTube. Okay, uh, still two more videos they will upload in the YouTube. Rest of the things, once if you join, then you are going to get Google Drive. So this is nothing but the link what we have, okay, to view the recordings. Okay, one minute, I will show you that playlist also. So you have to go to browser and enter this URL and press enter. So you are going to get these core Java demo classes. Okay. So you can able to see total how many demo sessions has been conducted two on 28th and then first 28th and then first. Okay. Monday, Tuesday and today demo also they will add here. Okay. Maybe tomorrow demo also they will add here. Okay. Yes. I have given the link in chat window. If anyone missed the previous uh, link copy, yes, you can you can copy paste. Okay. So as early as possible, try to register for this course, sir. Maybe from tomorrow we are going to share running notes and videos separately by using Google Drive. Okay, sir. Thank you. We will meet for the continuation tomorrow as usual at seven o'clock. Okay. Thank you, guys. You can leave the session now. Thank you. Good morning, friends. In the last video, sir, I covered very clearly about uh, introduction to Java. Okay, introduction, fundamentals of Java programming. So in that, sir, I covered very clearly about uh, need of Java programming. What is the need? Why we need to go for Java? And even the basic introduction part also I covered. Next and after that, sir, we have seen editions of java so total how many editions are there in the java so i explained by taking some theoretical part next and after that we have seen total how many java versions are there okay so we have seen what is the latest version sir java 17 is nothing but latest version then so what softwares are required to develop java application Sir, we required notepad, we required command prompt, so we required edit plus Java latest software, IntelliJ tool or Eclipse IDE or NetBeans IDE. So these tools are required. Anyway, 
we will touch each and every part don't worry at all so next and after that so we have seen what is the simple java format how how the format will be so total how many parts are there five parts are there so first part is nothing but package section second part is nothing but comments section third part is nothing but import section fourth part is nothing but a class or interface or enum section so fifth part is nothing but main class section like these sir different different uh, sections are there of course in our programming we are not going to touch all the things we will concentrate only on main class section sir what are the steps to prepare java application just i have given at the top level but almost three demo sessions has been completed three demo session has been completed but uh, we didn't started yet programming right so in today's session we are going to see the programming also and the people who missed the last videos last classes yes there is one playlist is there so where session 1 session 2 and session 3 are available sir you can use this link for uh, viewing the recorded videos okay one minute i will show you if you copy paste the link in your uh, browser yes then you are going to get all the videos So total, how many classes has been conducted? Three classes. So you can able to see all these three classes are available here. So first class on 28th, second class is on first. So third class is on 20, sorry, two, second. Okay. So today is nothing but third class, sorry. Today is nothing but the fourth demo class. Okay. So like this, everything is available in the last video, sir whatever i explained it is clearly mentioned in the youtube okay you can able to refer these videos if you want to get the access of previous classes okay okay fine so next and after that whatever concepts we covered with that we will see a small multiple choice questions test and then we will continue please confirm shall we shall we shall we go for these mcqs please confirm yeah so you have to see the question on the uh, uh, screen and you have to tell the answer sir okay so this is nothing but already some people attended this uh, quiz in the previous session just okay so give me your answers for these questions okay yes so the first question the first question what we have here is yes i think you can able to see on my screen one minute yes yeah sir tell me the correct answers for these questions what is the first question is nothing but latest version of java yes please confirm among these which option is correct for this hmm. yes option a is nothing but correct so what is the correct answer for this option a so next question which translator is best when error rate is very high if if your program contains a maximum number of errors so which translator is best okay of course in the compilers and interpreters i explained this point very well so if if a chance of errors are more means compiler is nothing but the best choice okay so if a yeah, let me add it as an answer. Yes, A. Yeah. So next question opposite for this. So which translator is best? So when error rate is low. Yes, please confirm. Very good. So B is nothing but best, which is nothing but interpreter. Interpreter is best when error rate is very low. So next and after that, next question what we have here is, sir, Java is, Java is dash based programming language. So from the options you have to select compiler, interpreter, both A and B, none of this. Yes, please confirm.
very good the correct answer is nothing but c so next which is not a java feature sir among these one is not a java feature please identify that so ora is it a java feature or not distributed platform independent secured and then none of this huh very good so all are java features only the correct option is nothing but e none of this everything is a java principle so ora means what write once run any number of times we have to prepare the program you can run the program any number of times based on your requirement so what is mean by distributed sir java applications will be transferred across the network no issues at all and what is mean by platform independent once if you write the java program it can run on any platform okay so what is mean by secured so java is going to provide different layers at the programming level itself to provide security next sir identify identify java ide from the following sir in this which is java ide ide yes please confirm hmm yes please confirm yes so e is nothing but the ide because pycharm it is related to the python autumn it is related to the uh, text editor html text editor notepad plus plus notepad plus plus it is also related to small normal editor edit plus is also editor but eclipse is nothing but java based ide i told very clearly about ides in the last video so next sir the command which is used to execute which is used to execute java program please confirm which command we can use to execute the java program yeah in the last video at the end i told this maybe some people are remembered some people may not okay yes the correct answer is nothing but option b sir java command is used to execute the java program so next and after that the command which is used to compile the java program is nothing but which one yeah very good a a so java c is nothing but the command which is used to execute java program so whatever concepts we covered in the last video so with that just we conducted a small quiz i think it is very clear for you people right shall we go for the next concept sir shall we go for the next concept yes now we need to talk about um, sir basic java program i need to talk about the basic java program already we have seen so steps to prepare java application anyway i will explain all these steps one by one and even package i mean sample java program format also we know but anyway i am concentrating on main class okay so observe carefully i am going to develop first java application sir first java application so if i want to prepare any java application first program i am taking let us consider that file name as so test1.java okay what is my file name sir test1.java so first step i will open notepad i will open notepad here we have to type each and everything sir i am taking class okay i am taking class so then i am taking test okay or better i will go with step by step so that you will get a clarity sir every program execution starts from main method that you know very well every program execution starts from main method so main method in the sense main function in the sense like brackets should be there and within this brackets sir remember carefully it is taking some arguments so any name you can take need not to be args any name you can take this main method is going to take some arguments and make sure that the return type of the main method is nothing but void sir return type in the sense what 
what kind of value it is going to return what kind of value it is going to return sir my main method is just a starting point of the program it won't return any value that's why in front of this main method i have taken void okay in front of this main method i have taken void so void means what nothing empty okay fine then the access modifier for this main method is nothing but public and static public means what i told it is a distributed programming the program will be available in some system we have to execute a program from your system so if it is a public then only you can able to access that program if it is a private or some other access modifiers are there if uh, if you are taking some other modifiers you can't able to access that is the reason why main method is public if anyone is asking why main method is a public because we have to access main method from any network any any network so that's why public and uh, sir why static word so do you know static word is a more powerful word sir so in java if you want to access anything sir i have some container is there in this uh, some data is available i want to access this data okay i want to access this data sir directly it is not possible okay so we can't we we can't access we can't access this data so first we have to create one small object for this okay so we have to create one small object for this using this object only you have to get a permission and you need to access okay but there are some situations there are some situations so without object also directly we can able to access so this type of data this type of data is called as a static data this type of data is called as non static data remember carefully so for for accessing main method object is not required object is not required so without object also we can able to access main method that's why sir main method is always static and this args is of type string all the arguments whatever you are passing it will be stored in the form of string only so i can say inputs are stored in inputs are stored in so array of a string okay every input in java is considered as a string only this is nothing but main method syntax sir so very simple if you are not following this syntax our java is going to raise runtime environment runtime error so compiler won't check all these things compiler will concentrate only on syntactical issues so once if the program is compiled successfully if you are having these errors sir if you are having these errors i mean main method is not there then at run time okay it will raise error saying main method is not defined in your program please define the main method like that we are going to get so next and after that sir in java everything is nothing but object oriented programming that's why the main method also should be placed within one class called a test the main method also should be placed within one method called a test compulsory you have to take within test 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 class only everything is nothing but treated as an object now if you want to print any message in c language we are using printf to print the message okay in python we are using c out so to print the message so in in python we are using print to print the message but in java sir we have to use system dot out dot print ln of sir welcome like this we have to take in future classes i will explain about this this uh, entire uh, sop i will post mortem but as of now remember system dot out dot print ln we have to take sir now i am taking the class name as a test one and uh, editing of the program is completed at least you got some idea but don't worry multiple times i will explain about all the words whatever i have given so this is nothing but the program what we have 
what is the next step we have to save the code sir i am going to save this code so for our batch i will create a separate folder okay so in d drive i am going to create a folder with name 7am 7am so in this what is the file name test1 dot java i am taking okay test1 dot java i am taking sir you have to you have to save with extension dot java okay we have to save with extension dot java then you need to select all files okay then you have to click on save button automatically the file got saved if you want you can cross check so you can open the folder location so 7am folder is there so here you can able to see so there is one file is there with name test one dot java fine now i want to compile this code so for that we have to open command prompt this is my command prompt and you have to change to the directory where you have saved your file in which directory i saved the file d drive in which folder i saved the file 7am cd space 7am now the command used to compile the java program is nothing but java c test1 dot java yes program compiled successfully there is no no mistakes then java space test1 i am taking sir you can able to see we got successfully the message saying welcome we got successfully the message saying welcome this is nothing but how you can able to execute your first java application now sir i am going for second program test2 dot java so but i don't want to use notepad i don't want to use notepad i will use this editor itself so click on new normal text so here again i am typing each and every word observe carefully sir every java program will have a main method which will take a string array args okay so it should return empty value that's why void next and after that it it is always a public and static public means from the outside environment we have to call main method and static means without object we can able to call so within this i am taking system dot out dot print ln to print the message so welcome again like this i am printing sir everything is a pure object oriented that's why sir even we have to take uh, this particular main method within class only what is the next step we have to save the file select d drive select 7am what is the file name so test2 what is the file type java the beauty of edit plus is nothing but you can save automatically by selecting the type as java now i am clicking on save automatically it will be identified with some colors yes this is nothing but what is java main method i mean java method now how to compile the program java c what is the file name test2 dot java the code compiled fine java space test2 i am giving so welcome again like this we are getting this is nothing but how to execute your second java program okay now sir i need to explore the words one by one what is the first word class class means what sir so very simple so java is an object oriented programming so hence without class without class so we can't run any program that's why compulsory we have to take the class so what is the test to it is nothing but identifier okay sir in our class now almost 10 members are there how i can identify each and every person saumya is there gayatri is there bharat kumar is there anwar ashwini so how i can able to identify okay how i can able to identify sir very simple by using class name okay so test 2 is nothing but name of the class name of the class next and after that sir what about the public or before that what about this these brackets these brackets sir you know very well it is nothing but a bunch of records 
suppose assume i have okay i have some uh, uh, 100 rupees notes are there total 100 100 rupees notes are there okay sir i can't take as usual in my pocket so i will i will i will combine all these notes by by taking a rubber band or by taking any thread or by taking any seal so like what i am doing i am bunching all the things into a single group in the same way this this is indicating block of statements block of statements okay maybe you have learned this from the previous programming languages then what is the meaning of public so the meaning of public is nothing but we can access from anywhere okay we can access from anywhere main method if main method is present in any system you can start execution from your system also you can call okay that person can able to respond if it is a public okay so next and after that there is one more word is there with name static what is the purpose of static so without object without object so we can we can access main method so generally if you want to touch anything compulsory object must be required in java okay so without object is there any possibility to access any data means yes that is nothing but a main method okay next void what is the meaning of void so main does not return okay main does not return any value that's why we have taken void void means empty so what is mean by main just it is nothing but a starting point of any java program any java program so not only java in c plus plus c language also uh, program execution is going to starts from main suppose you can ask is it possible to change the name of main yes it is possible provided by in the interpreter or compiler we have to change okay so next and after that string array what is mean by string array okay all inputs all inputs are available in string all inputs are available in string format so these brackets indicates arrays arrays a group of records arrays okay or i can say collection of uh, values collection of values okay so next and after that sir what is this args what is this args it represents arguments sir okay it represents arguments arguments that means name of inputs name of input array name of input array just now i told uh, string array is there right for that what is the name is nothing but this one okay so this is nothing but what is mean by java simple program and how you can able to prepare this application and how to execute the program sir please confirm do you have any doubts up to this yes please confirm do you have any doubts up to this yes i request everyone to respond at very beginning you may get some kind of confusion but don't worry slowly you will get one by one once if you practice with the four or five programs then everything will be cleared please confirm any doubts friends up to this Oi, please respond. Very good. Now, sir, I want to go with one more program. What is that program is nothing but so test three dot Java. <clears throat> test three dot Java. So Sir, instead of typing everything, you can select a file and a new, you can choose Java. Automatically, the skeleton it is going to open. Have you observed? Everything, it has been prepared automatically. Just your requirement is nothing but you have to save the class. So, test3 is nothing but the class and hello world. Let it be same thing. So, where we have to save? In the same location, test3. So, at the time of compilation, java c test3.java i am taking 
sir code compiled fine java space test3 i have taken code executed successfully now this is nothing but third program what we have sir everything is okay but uh, sir i have a small requirement what is that requirement is nothing but i want to take a test4 dot java test4 dot java but uh, within this test4 sir i am taking prakash class okay sir here i am giving some information saying sir file name is file name is so test5 test4 dot java but a class name is nothing but what is a class name that you have taken in this so prakash okay this is nothing but a class name sir why i am giving this information in the sense observe carefully i am taking test4 dot java sir please concentrate well so if you want to compile the program what is the syntax java c file name dot java we have to use if you want to compile the java program then the syntax used for this is nothing but java c file name dot java if i want to execute java space class name you have to provide not file name class name you have to take sir if it is this program if it is this program then sir what is the okay what is the file name that we have to given java c space so test4 dot java i am taking but how to run java space prakash we have to take remember carefully it is very very important point to be noted okay so now i am trying to compile the program now how to execute java space prakash have you observed we got a file name and a class name whatever message we have taken sir what will happen if i am trying to execute a test4 sir in your program file name is a test4 but there is no class with the test4 right in your entire application so you can able to see from here sir is there any class file is there any class file with the name test4 no you can't see prakash dot class is there that's why sir it is going to raise a beautiful error saying are class definition is not found okay class not found exception so could not find or load main class test4 you are looking for test4 class that a test4 class is not available so there are two ways are there to save your file java c so test4 dot java and while executing java space prakash this is one approach second approach is save the file with test3 you can compile by using java c test3 dot java you can run by using test3 so hence it is highly recommended it is highly recommended so to take highly recommended to take so both the file name and class name as a same it is highly recommended to take both the file name and the class name as a same i hope you got this point why i am explaining this much story clear please confirm clear please confirm yes yeah yeah so file name and class name should be same gayatri suppose consider in this example i have taken file name as a test4 i have taken file name as a test4 but a class name as a prakash so once if you are compiling the program at the time of compilation we need to take only file because file we have to take and we have to compile but inside that file what name is there it is very difficult okay so if you take file name and a class name both are same then confusion won't be there okay so generally uh, i think you 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 people have faced this type of situations so when you are going to purchase something 
or assume you are going to uh, take a booster dose, vaccination booster dose you, you, you want to take. So then a big queue is there. It, it is going to take some half an hour, half an hour time. Then you have an immediate meeting is there. Then what you are, go you are going to do? Sir, you are going to appoint one person in your place. Are you please look into this. Sir. Once if you reach to the entrance, so I will come and I will join. Actual vaccination is required for you. But in your place, you are placing some other person. Of course, it is recommended in some situations. So in the same way here, my entire class is Prakash. But I have given the name as a test form. Okay. Both names should be same. Then only it is going to work properly. So file name and a class name. Both should be same. If it is not, then what we have to do? At the time of uh, compilation, we have to take the file name for identification purpose. At the time of execution, you have to take class name. Right? So compulsory, you have to remember two things. So to avoid this confusion, recommended to take file name and class name, both as the same. Clear? Gayatri. Sir, from today's class, you won't get much thing. Definitely, it is a confusion class. But you will get slowly one by one. Sir, now I want to show you the diagrammatic representation of this main method. I want to explain the diagrammatic representation of main method. Somewhere the diagram is available. One minute. Yes, this is nothing but the diagram. So one more time, I am exploring main method. Please have a look one, sir. Have you observed? Class test. Okay, class test, public static void main arguments. So we have message saying hi dot Java. First point. So I am trying to save this file as a Prakash dot Java, which is never recommended because at the time of compilation for Java C command, you have to take the file name. What is the file name? So I have given Prakash dot Java. At the time of execution, you have to provide a class name. What is the class name that we have given test? So, which is never recommended, but which is recommended. So, take the file name as a test.java so that at the compilation and at the time of execution, you can remember only one name. First point. Second point. What is this class? Java is an object-oriented programming language. Hence, everything is treated as an object. Hence, main method should be placed inside class only. Okay, without a class, you can't run any show. What is this test? Test is a class name. Any name we can take, but starting with the caps. So what is this a public? Public means from anywhere we can access main method. What is the meaning of a static? Without object, we have to access main method. So that method should be always a static. Void, return type is empty. Main, main is the starting point of any program. String array, string array arguments. The inputs are stored in ERJS array of type string. Then, so system.out.println, output statement in Java. We have three different output statements are there. Anyway, in the output statements, we have a separate chapter. There I will explain. This is nothing but diagrammatic representation. Beyond that, nothing is there. Okay. So this is nothing but what is mean by main method, how you can able to execute a simple Java program. In complete today's session, I concentrated only on execution of a simple Java program. I think it is very clear for you people, right? Guys, please confirm. Do you have any doubts up to this? Yes, I request everyone to respond. Do you have any doubts up to this? Please confirm. Requesting everyone to respond. I request everyone to respond. Uh, 
uh, will you explain further lecture how to install edit plus yeah definitely uh, but uh, i'm not going to explain the installation that installation video will be provided in that you can able to get clarity okay ashwini One minute, sir. One minute. Please wait one minute.
yeah so sorry for the disturbance yeah sir i think now you can able to uh, write a simple java program without any mistakes right please confirm any doubts on main method sir any doubts on main method please confirm now sir the next thing what we have here is sir common errors there are some common errors will be there okay in the java program sir what common errors you are going to get of course these are not that much important but just i am explaining for your understanding purpose so first error i already told what is that first error sir have you observed suppose if if you have if you have saved the file okay assume sir i saved okay i saved the file with a different name different name okay so from class name i saved the file with a different name from class name so that means what is the file file name sir test4.java is nothing but file name test4.java is nothing but file name but uh, what is the class name that i have taken the class name is nothing but prakash if it is the case then what kind of error message we are going to get sir we are getting could not find or load main class called test4 boss test4 is not there really test4 class is not there because we have taken the class name as a prakash not a test4 okay this is nothing but the error what we are going to get okay so hope it is very clear for you first error second error some people are asking sir is is that compulsory in string yes is capital letter no yes compulsory we have to take capital letter because sir this prakash is a class name class name always starts with a capital letter string is also a class name starts with always capital letter system is also class name starts with a capital letter stack is also a class name starts with a capital letter queue is also a class name starts with a capital letter list is also a class name starts with a capital letter scanner is a class name starts with a capital letter if you take small letter what will happen it is not considered as a class name that is the only thing that's why it is highly recommended to take edit plus so that you will get starting clarity clear uh please confirm yash is it clear yes now sir what is the second type of error that you are going to get let me take one more example sir i am creating a new java program i am creating a new java program let us take the class name as a test test dot java from now onwards i will take the five class name as a test sir i didn't took any main method i didn't took any main method sir is it is it correct program yes of course this is the valid java program only if you are trying to compile test dot java successfully the code is going to compile it won't raise any error message but when you are executing sir if you are trying to execute java space test is the test class is available yes test class is available but inside that test class sir main method is not there that's why sir what will happen it is going to raise runtime error saying like this what is that error have you observed main method not found in class test so please define please define main method as public static void main string array args like this it is giving a request or a java fx application class must be extend java fx application dot application like that it is it is not in our curriculum as of now remove that okay next sir okay fine now i am taking one more java program sir i didn't took anything i didn't took anything even class is also not there but i have saved the file with demo dot java sir empty empty file is there empty file is there demo.java so without any content without any content 
sir is it possible to compile the java program yes of course because java compiler will always check for syntaxes if nothing is there then scanning will become very easy sir there is nothing then sir java space demo already we got one error right class not found exception we are going to get sir you are trying to load a class that class is not available okay like this we are going to get one more error of course same error just i am explaining with different example next sir one more case is there sir uh, if if 100 members are practicing the java program in these 100 members 90 members are going to get this type of error sir common error so they are going to take a class demo they are going to take a class demo so public static void main okay so string array args i am taking okay so system dot out dot println of sir i am the okay i am the common error common error for most of the programmers now observe carefully what is that error boss you have taken the file name as a demo dot java but inside that so you have taken the class name as a small d generally how the people are going to compile this program they will compile like this java c demo dot java the code compiles fine but they will try to execute like this sir what error we are going to get have you observed no class definition found error demo okay so wrong name wrong name you have given wrong name then which name you have to take small demo then you will get the code so case is also very very important case in the sense what lower case upper case is also very very important at the time of doing the programs so clear up to this do you have any doubts any doubts up to this yes please confirm friends i request everyone to respond any doubts up to this are you there yeah so this is nothing but today's java class and from tomorrow as usual we will continue sir tomorrow i am going to take uh, uh, installation as a separate uh, topic i will explain so i will i will give videos for this and tomorrow we will see jdk jre jvm what is mean by jit and we will see some java features of course it is a theoretical concept better i will take this java features uh, uh, somewhere okay then we will talk about the comments better i will do one thing i will cover some three to four features then i will take comments keywords identifiers variables constants in tomorrow's session then day after tomorrow java features remaining things we will continue and then we will start as usual okay uh, today's lecture will be uploaded in the youtube maybe after one hour or two hours and you have to use the same same link this video library same link you have to use because in this only you are going to get every uh, what you can say videos it is a playlist sir playlist link i have given okay and those who have interested for this course register as early as possible how many people registered for this course by paying the fee please confirm if anyone wants to do the payment this is nothing but the details you can take a screenshot of this and you can make the payment as early as possible yeah ashwini i got to know that you have done yeah remaining people also as early as possible please try to do that sir okay yeah screenshot you can take a screenshot follow these instructions okay and from tomorrow i am going to give access for running notes those who have registered for them from tomorrow i am going to give running notes access okay yeah sir thank you we will meet for the continuation tomorrow sir exactly at 7 o'clock thank you guys
so good morning students welcome to durga soft online training welcome to durga soft online training and welcome to core java core java batch okay at 7 am so with a fresh mind you can able to learn the complete core java so do you know the people who are joining for my batches at early morning so they are going to get beautiful concepts okay 